Most of us would just call it cold, bone chilling, freaky cold. But if you want to get fancy, call it a polar vortex. Denser, known as a polar vortex. The dreaded polar vortex. Here's what you need to know. With wind chills dropping into negative 60 degree territory in some unfortunate parts of the country, you've probably heard the polar vortex is to blame. A polar vortex forms kind of like a hurricane, a fast moving blast of frigid air that circles counterclockwise around the north or south poles. Now, normally a polar vortex doesn't come down as far and into such dense populations as it has. So, what's it doing here? Basically, if there's warm air over Greenland or Alaska, air that's colder and denser pushes air south, resulting in frigid temps like the ones we're seeing across the U.S. The white on this map shows you where the coldest air is. Right now, it's located right on the U.S.-Canada border. There's a little bit up here near Greenland and a big mass of cold air over Siberia where it's supposed to be. Now, the good news is the U.S. as a whole should start warming up later this week, though by warming, we mean getting into the 30s or so in parts of the Midwest. Before that, though, according to the Weather Channel, by Tuesday, more than 70 cities are in for record-breaking cold. For Time, I'm Megan Murphy.